So before I start, I'm gonna just show you literally how I do my makeup, like step by step. Like I won't miss this step because if I do, my makeup won't turn good. So I use this moisturizer. As you can tell, I'm almost out of it. It's so good when I'm going to um like going out at nighttime. I cannot forget my sunscreen. I mean my moisturizer. It's like a month and a little goes a long way, so I don't need a lot. So I'm not gonna put it in there because I'm not going anywhere. But it's just for this video. Like this moisturizer really hydrates you, you know, like it claims to be for all types of skin, that's what I believe. But I've seen a big difference. This is like my third bottle that I've used. <laughs> so then the, I like to prime everything first before I move on to my eyes, my eyebrows, anything else. So the primer can sit into your skin, you know? So the primer that I like to use is the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. This thing is like so bomb and it's so cheap too. Like, I think it's like five dollars, four dollars at CVS, Walgreens, Ulta, anywhere. You can find this everywhere. Everywhere that sells e.l.f. <laughs> Bye -bye. But this thing is so good. Like, this is my third one. I'm not joking. This is my third freaking bottle. So I just put like that much. And I like to grab them like just to put the daughter like to like massage into my skin. And what this does is like it like really primes your face for when you put your foundation it goes smoothly. A lot of people ask me like oh what foundation you use and blah blah blah. And then like I tell them and then they be like that foundation never worked on me. I don't know why it looks so nice on you, blah blah blah. Because of this primer. Girl, this primer. I've tried so many foundations that don't go on me properly because I just use it like by itself, like it claims like or like I use it with a different primer that day and it does not look good. But then once I try it with this, it is bomb. So I always like to apply it right after my moisturizer to you know just to set the both in it makes my face look so smooth and like hydrating and I like that or something even though I feel like that but we're all gonna fix that anyway. so most of the time when I want to go for a big face like a really glam face I used to like I like to go around with the Tatcha silk canvas I'm out of breath. <laughs> this stuff is so good too. Like, I'm almost hitting pan. Well, I, almost, I didn't hit pan on it, but almost. Enough food. But this, you only need a little bit of this. I like to just put this in the center of my face. You know, where my cheeks, like, where I get, like, most oily or, like, most, like, because I like to, sm I like, I'm, I'm smiling all the time. I'm talking most of the time, and this area sometimes creases my foundation whenever I'm not putting this primer. So that's the only reason I put this because it really just primes your face. Like I don't know what it does, but it's just I know there's like like claims that it does, but I can't really explain it. But it smells good. It feels really silky, smooth, and it's just like, it's really good. So then, we're gonna go with the eyes. And we're gonna use the Fenty Concealer in the shade 290. And we're going to conceal our eyelids. It doesn't have to be specific for how you apply it. Just apply this. And we're going to grab 
sort of like the same type of brush that we use for our eyebrows but it's more bigger and more fluffier so you want to just blend the concealer And then we're gonna set that with translucent powder. You can use any powder you want. I used to do the Daisy Marquez method, method where she doesn't apply um, setting powder, she just does her like colors on right on top of the concealer. But I stopped doing that, I don't know why. I get so used to just putting powder on top of my lids. If you guys wondering what powder I'm using, it's a Derma Blend powder. I'm still trying it, you know. I haven't really used it because I've been using my Fenty powder for my face. And it's really lovely, so I think I should have just used that powder. <laughs> but anyways, we shall see how it works. So I had to tie my hair real quick because it was really annoying. Let me fix it. We look crazy, I know. <coughs> so to start it off, I'm gonna blow my a blending brush. This is a Morphe M433. We're gonna grab this color. So we're just gonna apply some of the crease. I used to have those stickers that you put like right here so that you know sharp thing but I ran out <laughs> so I'm just gonna go with the flow and by the way I don't know shit about eyeshadow so I'm gonna just try my best I buy lots of palettes well, not lots of palettes but I buy palettes and I never use the freaking baldy shades I just stick to my neutrals so this is a stepping out of my comfort zone type of thing but I'm just gonna work with it this color which is churro where we step out the excess so I'm gonna go on top of that and I'm gonna just blend Should I do a cut cream or not? I've never done one, but I've always wanted to do one. So, we're risking it. Oh, okay. Bring it on, baby. Okay, let me use my arm. Okay, there's good nothing, so I think the Maybelline is not working, but we're gonna make it work. 
I'm trying to fit too. I'm trying not to look over. I just want to see yeah, focus on this. Okay, the frizzy is working great. I'm not gonna lie, I'm shaking right now. I don't know why, but I'm shaking. If you guys know brushes are good for cooking, then let me know in the comments below because I feel like this brush is too big. But we shall see. Okay, so far I feel like it's not coming out good, but we're gonna do the other eye for now. I think I did it. <laughs> I think I did it. But I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here, but I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm pr probably like makeup gurus are like cringing right now because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So for eyeliner, I'm going to use a Fenty Beauty eyeliner. Okay. Something like that. Normally, I don't wear eyeliner. Like I said, practice makes perfect and in any way. And really missed it a lot. And if you messed up, you can grab like your makeup wipes and like fix the eyeliner to make it sharp. So for lashes, I don't know if I want to go with these baddies. Desi recommended these. And I'm telling you, whatever she fucking recommends. She recommended this, and I bought it, and I loved it. If she recommends good lashes, bitch, that's really good. use them. So, even though they're a bit dramatic, look at them. First, like, try them on, like, with no glue and anything, just to make sure, like, they fit. Extra as fuck. <laughs> Bitch. No fucking way. They're, they're a bit big on me. So you can tell I'm gonna have small eyes. So I'm gonna just cut, always cut the end of your lashes. Never cut the front of your lashes where it starts, you know? That's just the main rule of lashes. Let me just cut like a little bit. Never cut a lot. Cut little by little and keep trying on. Because once you cut a lot, you can never go back. So this fits perfectly. And they have to feel comfortable. They don't feel comfortable with like something poking you. It means it's still big. Yeah. So the first glue I'm going to use is the <coughs> Duo. No. For the fat part. I'm gonna go for foundation. Okay. I'm stuck between this one, this one, this one, and this one. These are my three favorite four foundation. Four favorite foundation. What to mix all these? I think I'm gonna go. I want something a little more full coverage since we did a nice eye look. 
We're not done, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go with the Huda Beauty. Remember, never forget your lashes. No. I'm gonna mix a little bit of the Fenty one. Just because this is more olive color, this is more warm tone. You see the difference? Okay. I think I'm gonna apply my lashes right now. Once you start seeing like the blue fading away, let me go dry. If you want to apply them when they're tacky, always look down, breathe. Normally I will curl my lashes, but I did it this time. These are dramatic as fuck. <laughs> it did not look like that on Desi. I'm telling you, that should look like oldie beautiful. It looked like nice and fluffy, but these are. So we're gonna add a try waterline on the top. So I'm gonna mix one whole pump of the Huda Beauty one whole pump of the Fenty Beauty just gonna mix it with my arm wow that's really thick okay and we're just gonna dot it everywhere I think this is a perfect shade I like to add like extra on areas where I need it the most. It's just everywhere. <laughs> okay. I'm not applying a lot because it's really thick, so I think a little goes a long way. So I'm gonna use my beauty blender and I wanna spray it with some setting spray. This is gonna make sure your foundation stays on. And then we're just gonna bounce, 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 bounce. Look how beautiful this shit was blended. Get it. Excuse me. You wanna take your sweet time with this because this is the main focus of your home makeup your face. If your face don't look good, honey. <coughs> I don't know what is. I have a huge pimple right here, so I'm just cut. Voila. Never forget your ears. How long it's been that I use this foundation, but bitch. It just covered my whole fucking face. Okay. So for concealer, I'm gonna use the Born This Way concealer. This is a bomb ass concealer. I used to use shit. I used to use shade tape, but after this one came out, I went crazy. Cause I heard good reviews about it, and it's like shade tape is more thicker. You know what I'm saying? More. I don't know something about it. It's more. I don't want more <laughs> under my eyes, like. Believe it or not, I don't like to use a lot of shit under my eyes because your under your eyes is the most important part of your face. Like everything should be the most important part. I don't do the bridge or like that. Cause I'm gonna go with the XS. XS. 
excess, excess, I don't know. So now that everything is done like that, it's time for pause. Oh no 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 no. Nope. It's time to contour. And I'm gonna use this one. My favorite. Call me Maple. It's by Wet and Wild. Oh shit for commercial. But it is bomb. Upwards. And then we're gonna go with a beauty blender. We're just gonna tap it and blend. Tap it and blend. Same thing we're gonna do to our forehead. So now it's time for powder. That was my extra. I'm gonna just shake it a little bit. You gotta be careful with this one because this one comes out a lot. Okay. We're gonna get our beauty blender and we're just gonna tap. Tap, sit. It's like I'm saying sit, but I'm saying sit. Tap, 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 tap. I look crazy. Oh my gosh, man. I will blend everything into my skin where I cannot see the powder anymore. Okay. So then I'm going to grab a brush like that. And I'm gonna just make sure the the bottom part of my eyes are blended. And my contour is still there. I look white as a ghost. But honey, that's all gonna change. Just what I so I'm gonna grab a flat brush like that. Sorry, excuse my dirtiness. And then I'm going to go in with the MAC Studio Fix Face Powder and NC42. I'm just going to tap and then we're just going to set my forehead with this. And then the rest of my face. Not my eyes, just my face. My cuffs are underneath here, my ears. Just like that.
my old time favorite bronzer. So I'm going with like this type of angle brush. I'm gonna just tap one, two, and tap it like on the tissue. Okay, so then we're gonna cover our, our cheekbones with some powder. It could be any powder, but I'm using the same powder. Thank you. So we're gonna line our lips. The liner I'm using is the LA Girl Lip Liner Natural. I can't like my lips for shit. With I Am Pretty by Milani. It's the same shit. That's why I remove lipstick <laughs> from my. But I'm going with this one. Okay, this one could work. So, I'm gonna dust away the powder. So, my favorite palette, blush palette at the moment, is by this brand. Oh, oh I'm out of breath. Okay, so. I like to use these three colors. I never use this one. It's rare. Maybe in the summertime I do use it, but the one that I've been loving is this one and this one. Mixed together. These are pigmented as fuck. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing now, but what I like to do is I like to grab a tissue and just like just like that. And then apply. Look like a Barbie doll. Shut our eyes. And what we're gonna do? I'm gonna use that blue in the palette, but let's go for it. Let's do something different. I'm gonna grab like this Tefl shader brush, and from the Jacqueline Hill palette, we are gonna use. Okay, ready? This blue right here, underneath our eyes. I don't know if you're ready for that. I'm not ready for that. But we shall see. All right. I'm gonna lie, it looks so pretty. Okay. So this is not the final look. We still have to put highlights. So we're gonna use. Anastasia Beverly Hills. We're just gonna play with it a little bit. And 
Oh my god, this is intense. Put a little bit on my nose. And then. Oh yeah, guys, this is the final look. This is how this look turned out, even though it didn't come out perfect. It isn't my best, but I tried. For you guys and i hope you like this video if you want to see more like me trying new things like out of my comfort zone you should guys let me know i want to do more eyeshadow looks but i'm feeling these eyelashes but yeah let me know if you want to see more videos and see you in my next video bye